This video is brought to you by Restmore. Visit buyrestmore.com for the best sleep of your life. Hey Creek Mom. Hello. How are you? Pain. What happened to your finger? I smashed it between a car door and a pole. Awesome. Wow. Car door and a pole. How many days ago? This happened Saturday night. I bet it hurts. It hurts a lot. Yeah, Just... and it's it's been hurting now for three days. Yes. And we're going to have to x-ray that. Make sure you didn't crush the tuft, the distal aspect of the finger. But I can tell you we're going to need to remove that nail. It's going to continue to hurt you until it comes out. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a digital block, which means we're going to anesthetize the finger. Then send you for an x-ray while that anesthesia is working, then come back and we'll take that nail off for you. Okay, sounds good. Do you mind if we video you for YouTube? Of course not. Are you sure, Creek Positive. Mom? I think Creek Mom is a good nickname, don't you, Gonzo? Well, her mom wanted a different one. <laughs> well, we're not going to discuss that. <laughs> All right. All I was right. going to say it, too. All right, so we're going to use alcohol here, and we're going to numb this up for you. We've got little Gonzo on the cold spray. She's going to try to shoot from behind the camera, so she's doing double work. All right, are we ready? Are you ready, Creek Mom? Gonzo, let's go right here first, right there. Good. Little stick. Sting. Breathe. There we go. Breathe. Putting that medicine right in there. Let's get the other side now. Right there. Good. Little stick. You are doing fantastic. How many kids you have, Creek Mom? Two. You have two kids. How old are they? One and six. Perfect. They're going to be so proud of you for being brave for the camera. All right, we're going to stop now and let the anesthesia work while we get an x-ray done. All right, if you look closely here at this x-ray, you'll see that the very distal aspect of this finger has a fissure or a fracture. Uh, and it's a little bit easier to see in this next uh, picture that's coming up. But clearly there is a fracture of the tuft of this finger. Okay, we're back with Creek Mom. How was your x-ray experience? That's good. All right, you ready for some news? Yes. You broke your finger. No way. Way. No way. Way. Oh my god. Absolutely. The tuft, the very distal most aspect of this finger, is fractured. Oh and it's a fissure fracture. So it's going to change our treatment. Oh wow. So now we're not going to take the nail off. We're going to leave the nail, oh. and we're going to stitch the nail down to act as a splint. Oh gosh. And we're going to use dissolving stitches, so when the stitches falls out, it'll be when the stitches fall out, it'll be okay for the nail to grow out. Okay. All right, because it'll take about three weeks for that to happen. If we have this successfully splinted for about th three weeks, the the uh, the bone should heal. Awesome. Should be healed. All right. So my goal is to try to slip this nail back in. I don't know if we're going to be able to because so much of it is out. It's still pretty sore? Yeah. Durr. Okay. Gone she jumped. Well, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> she removed that cap for me. Do I need the cold spray? No, because she's already got some anesthesia going here. All right. We're going to give you another I shot. Tried. Are you ready? No. No. No? <laughs> well, we're going to go don't jump. Little stick. Oh. You're allowed to say any words. <laughs> you can to Gonzo. No, to, to Doc. Good, good, good. You're doing great. I can read her head right now. <laughs> am I, I'm not blocking, am I? <laughs> no. You okay here? Yes. Poor Creek Mom. Not the best day. Not at all. We're just, we, I continue to push a little medicine in there. There we go. She don't like you right now. That's all right. Whatsoever. That's all right. She, she doesn't have to like me right now. She she, she wants her finger fixed, oh, right? Yes. A little bit more the other direction. Yeah, these hurt. Can you see okay there, little Gonzo? See. I don't think that we'll be able to put this actually back in. So we're going to leave it just exactly where it is because it, it's just perfectly aligned with the direction that the bone's growing. See, the reason we don't want to just snap the nail off mm -hmm. is because if the bone changes position, 
then your nail can grow crooked in the future. Oh. And we don't want that. We want the nail to continue to grow straight out. So the best thing for us to do is suture this in place and let the nail heal. Mm. Got it? Yeah. Oh, wow. You okay with that creek, Mom? She didn't want her nail off anyways. Yeah. She liked that nail. So this is where it gets tricky, is putting a little needle through the finger. Give me a hand. There you go. Get the gone's hand there. Through the finger and then through the nail without okay. popping that nail off. You can still feel it a little bit. You should be able to feel it, it just shouldn't hurt. <laughs> She's not gonna there. comment on that. Does it hurt him? Sorry. Did it hurt? It's just... A little bit odd feeling. Yeah. Your hands are cool, you, you feel good. <laughs> There's two ties. This is 5 0 which is a, um, a polysaccharide suture. It's self-dissolving, or it's dissolving, so it doesn't have to be manually removed. All right, scissors, please. We're gonna put a couple or three stitches in here for you. Pretty exciting stuff, huh? It hurt? Just scary looking at it. Mm-hmm. Oh, pretty sight. Right through the nail. Now that's tacked down good right there. I like that. And we're still kind of attached on the other side, so I don't think we're going to have to stitch over there. So that's good, huh? Yes. Yeah. She'll take that anytime. Poor Creek Mom. She's just having a rough time with the old crushed fingernail thing here. All right, you ready for the next one? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Squeeze, it's fun. Don't worry about it. Right through the nail there. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That was really good. I can just imagine there. the feeling. Feels kind of weird, doesn't it? Yes. I'm pretty sure you would have taken this instead of having your nail popped off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, nails, nail popping off isn't bad. Once you've got the anesthesia on board, it's not bad. Really? Does it grow back? Sure. Nails grow back. People lose toenails and fingernails all the time. They grow back. We remove a lot of toenails. Mm -hmm. Ugly toenails. Yes, but you have pretty nails. Mm -hmm. So instead of just taking this one off, we want it to grow back straight and look good. You broke it. You did. Now I made uh, pictures of the x ray for all of our YouTube fans to see. I'll give your mom a this. Decide, so Good. Should. There we go. So now we've got two nice stitches in to hold this nail in place there. Just make sure I can see well. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm a little worried about the back aspect here maybe coming loose. So we put it, let's put a stitch in the back too. It looks like red stitches. <laughs> looks like, well it is red now. Let's put a stitch through this portion back here. I may have to get another one. Let's just see if this comes out. There we go. Is it going through the acrylic nail too? It's going through all of it. Oh wow. There's no sense in taking the acrylic nail off too because again it helps serve as a as a splint for this broken finger. Hmm. We still have to do the two gauze on it, don't we? We do want to put a nice dressing on this because it's going to continue to be tender for a little while. Okay. It's going to be sore. So you want to try good. to avoid bumping into things. and. It's going to have a lot of pain. I've had stitches, but I was itty bitty, so I don't remember anything. Yeah. You were little. Would you have? Would you have to get stitches? On um, my lower lip and alcohol. I don't know which actor. One of them. <laughs> yeah. I fell off my tricycle. Oh. Off your tricycle, huh? Yep. So this was just a couple of years ago, then, huh? She's so mean to me, Creek Mom. You see how she treats me? All right, so we've stitched in place. We're going to put a little dressing on this for you. And these little stitches will fall out on their own in a couple of weeks. Okay. And so this, we want this nail just to grow out. It'll naturally fall off when it's ready. 
and hopefully everything will go okay and the little tuft, the little uh, the bone portion at the tip of the nail will heal straight. Okay, so you want to take it real easy with this and let it do its job. Thanks for your help, Gonzo. Thanks for letting us record, Creek Mom. Thank you for... So I want to take a moment and give my personal testimonial from Meta7. You can see I've got a lot of Meta7 that's over a year's supply. Why do I have so much? Because I absolutely believe in it and I like it. I take Meta7 every morning, my wife does, and so does my best friend Sean. We all enjoy the subtle energy kick that you get from Meta7. So what's the point of Meta7? It's a metabolism booster. It gets your energy going, it gets you to create and process the food in your body and turn it into energy. Now some people say it helps you lose weight. I feel like it makes you more active and sometimes like a side effect is that you're losing weight because you're doing more stuff. You're getting out during the day and you don't even realize it. So anyway, go to Amazon, go ahead and check out Meta7. You can uh, pick it up. It's a great product and it will really activate your life. It's got B12, D3, B6, magnesium, chromium, alpha lipoic acid, and uh, coenzyme Q Q10. So anyway folks, go ahead and check it out. It's a really amazing product. You're gonna love it. Order yours today. There's an Amazon link in the description below.